I request Chetan Mogul. He is the CEO of uh, BIM Engineering US, LLC US. Good evening, everyone. One of the patterns that is becoming very evident in this presentation that I see is push to make technology a mainstream application, especially in construction. Mainstream is really the key word here. I want to share my story as it relates to such technologies, its applications, and the future. In my career, I had an opportunity to study in a top construction management institutions and grow to become a top executive in the top construction management organization in the United States. We were early adopters of construction soft technologies. We were closely connected to companies, research and development teams, providing mainstream feedbacks when testing their products. What we learned was technology inherently is very consistent. And the problem was human integration and applications by the humans. As we continue this journey to solve this problem, the industry is moving into automations, machine learning, AI, which will replace humans because that's where the errors are happening. Where I'm going with this is in order to make cities smart, we have to first learn how to build smart. In order to build smart, we need to have smart, skilled professionals. So we have to go bottom up because no matter what we push downstream, if there is the same process, same infrastructure, same people, the output would be the same. I'll quickly go through the presentation. I'll go to the last slide. We are a young country, right? So India is a young country with 87 of population under the age of 45. It is a young country. It has a tremendous working potential and the demand and supply curve is just phenomenal. There is a huge demand and supply is very limited, right? This is potential. This is potential for the country. Now let's talk about the education system, the process that we have currently. We take four to five years to finish fundamental education. Then we go to some technical school, you know, learn a tool or a software and spend another year learning a tool. Then we spend about one to three years perfecting the skill because in order to become a skill, you have to spend about 10,000 hours working at the tool. And that's where we become skilled labor. So we spend six to eight hours of a journey becoming skilled labor. So fundamental education, engineering schools, architecture schools, and we all know when we graduate from the fundamental education, it does not match the real world experience. We get the tool, we learn a tool, we graduate from the school, we work for three, four years, the tool is outdated, technology is outdated, we go back to school, learn a, learn a new tool or upgrade a new tool, go back to working, perfect the tool in three years. The cycle keeps on going. We never leave the skilled labor mentality. This is the barrier of our system. At age of 25 is typically when we all hit the working force. And by age of 45, the growth from 25 to 45, we are doing very well. Excellent progress, 20% raise, whatever, whatever we're doing. At age of 45, our graph starts to flatten. We run horizontal. At age of 65, is the graph starts going down. The point I'm trying to make here is we have 20 years to make the impact that will last 35 years. So take these three things in perspective. Young country, we only have 20 years to make an impact. So 2030, 2035, what happens? With the skill labor mentality, we start having a problem. At 45, we have a stagnant economy, right? We can't grow because we have a stagflation or we are not learning new tools and the technologies are getting outdated. And slowly by age of 65, we get into a serious problem. So 85% of people 20 years from now, if you are skill laborers, the skill might be outdated. What do we do? Learn a new skill, it becomes very difficult. So this is our concern that we have right now. So first question I ask everyone is, have you seen an entrepreneur without a skill? Most of the time people will say, no, I don't remember any entrepreneur that has no skills, right? The second question I ask is, have you seen a skilled person not become an entrepreneur? We see it all the time. A skilled person does not necessarily become an entrepreneur. So why are we learning skills, right? Why are we learning skills? We should be pushing entrepreneurship. Skills is a default. And the way you modernize a solution is modernized institution, which is built of four things fundamentals, technology, exposure, and leadership. This is, has to be part of the institutional environment. It can be divided into two pieces. The skill labor piece, where we learn 
we enforce and the incubator piece where we are engaged with leadership in the industry with market experience that is involved with us with this add-ons within our institution we become skilled professionals and a skilled professional is an attitude shift in the economy and the way this happens we all learn our lives through mentors we have mentors within the institutions the mentors and the panels like we have here get engaged in the institutional setup right that's my call here we want to make sure that these panels are going to schools and universities locally or in wherever we can and we are engaging with the students because that's where that needs to happen not when they come to the working environment so that's my proposal from changing the potential of a barrier and a concern 20 years from now to making a pathway into an opportunity <laughs> Thank you very much.